Hey guys, what's up? This is Helm Productions 5 with another review. This time of John Wick Chapter 2. Uh, Dylan, he couldn't be here for this video because, well, he tried to kill me for $7 million and I just wasn't having any of that. So. $7 million, dude. Oh, Dylan! <laughs> Dylan, how you doing? I thought you were dead. So <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, it looks like he uh, he spared my life, kind of. I, I shot him. I shot next to his head. Yeah, the plot twist. All right. So in all seriousness, guys, this is our review of uh, John Wick Chapter Two. Uh, try and keep, try and uh, keep a straight face with uh, the, my bloody nose, but um. If you guys enjoyed our little intro. If you guys enjoyed our little intro, we'd be happy to do more little skits like that. If we have, once we get a better camera, we film this yeah. this phone. It looks so. like the lights are flickering because of how crappy this camera is with its mm -hmm. focus. Oh, but anyways, let's let's get to the movie review. Uh, where's my phone? Is it in your pocket? Oh, it's in uh, it's in your room. Or it's in my room. This is your room. Great. Now I have to try to remember the actor's name. I don't remember the actor's name. It's Keanu Reeves, Lawrence uh, I, Fishburne. I, I, I know the obvious ones. Oh. Ian McShane, Ruby Rose. Who, who is Ian McShane? He he was the guy who owns the Continental. This John Wick has to come back, and we've seen the first John Wick. We never reviewed it back when it came out, way back in 2014. But it is a fantastic action movie. Yes, it's a great action movie. I actually watched it again this morning before. It's great. In preparation for Chapter Two. Which is great. also an awesome movie. Let us tell you why. Yeah, they didn't pull a uh, Taken 2 on us and make a crappy sequel to a great movie. And it's... Uh, it's, it's well, in all honesty, though, this had the same cast and crew as the original. It did. The second Taken, I think. Like, yeah. It's the same talented cast. The same talented cast, yeah, same talented crew, same talented director. Only one of them this time. The other one is... Off to direct Deadpool two, I guess. Yeah, um, it was. It's it's really great. It's great. Go see this movie or Lego Batman instead of Fifty Shades Darker, 50 please. Shades and yeah, and, uh, we're actually seeing Lego Batman tomorrow. So. Yeah, so we will be seeing both of those, and well, we will be seeing that too, and probably reviewing it as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this movie. Where do we start? Um. We got Keanu back, um, something happens with this dude, um, that gets him back into the fray, and, um... And he kills other, a lot of people. Kills a lot of people. Great. So new assassins come into play, one played by Common, one played by Ruby Rose, and, um, shit goes down. A lot of people die, and it's... Awesome. The way this guy directs the action is, is the way action should be directed. No shaky cam close up where you can't understand or tell what's going on. You got wide shots. You see everything that's happening. You know that's Keanu Reeves doing his own stunts. 
and it's great. And Keanu really commits to this. Yeah, role. it looks like yeah. This is probably like another viewer, Chris Stuckman, has stated. This is probably Keanu Reeves' best performance. Uh, well, the first John Wick. This one has some pretty good ones too, like when he snaps a little bit when he realizes that he has to do go back into this again after he Jill Scott out. He's like, shit, I thought thought I was out, but I'm not. So I was out. They pulled me back in. But yeah, and yeah, um, it's, great. it's the stuff. If you if you, if for nothing else, you gotta appreciate that the effort that goes into this movie stunts. That's reasonable. It's choreography. It's Amazing. And I just sat back in awe watching all the action. Yeah, stunts, choreography, just the action it was scenes cool. are great. I will, I will um, be one to say that I wasn't, I'm not, I wasn't a huge fan of the hand-to-hand scenes. In, um, I think they're a little bit better in the first one than this one. But these ones, it, it is a quick, quick cut, but it's a little shaky. Um, probably because uh, quite a few of these hand-to-hand battles take place in like really close quarters, so... They still handled it well. I, I really still enjoy the I mean, I could, I get, I could t- get the general idea of what was going on, it was still kind of like, whoa, what's... Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's pretty, it's hard to, like, shoot in, like, a really confined space like that, I get it, so... They, and then, but there were, there was one hand-to-hand scene that I liked quite a bit, and there was, like, a really uh, crazy stunt in that scene, mm-hmm. and it was pretty, it was pretty cool. And it had hurt a yeah, lot. And, and I, I cr- props, props I cr- to cr- the actors for doing that. And I, and I don't know if that was actually Count Reeves, but I think it was. And like props to him because he's like there are some great stunts like that. This, and yeah, there are some so, great stunts in this movie. And and, uh, and you know, ninety five percent of them are actually Keanu Reeves doing it themselves. Yeah. Actually. So it, it, the action is so, just phenomenal in this movie, and um, the kill count is higher than ever. A lot of people. And we get some more world building, which I'm glad we did. Um, it gets a little kind of cartoony, I guess. But like, to be honest, this 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 franchise is almost like a video game. It's, you know, yeah. it's almost like a video game universe. And if this were a video game, nobody would question how like it might be a little bit cartoony or not really realistic. So I'm trying to think of this like this is the best video game movie that's not based on a video game that has ever existed. John Wick would be a cool video game, though. Yes, I heard that it's already a VR game. Jeez, dude. Yeah, yeah I, I, I want yeah, an actual game. Yeah, an actual game. Yeah. You know? It didn't it's have great. anything quite as cool, I think, as that little, that one thing stunt that Keanu did in the first movie where he, like, shot the guy, jumped on him, shot the other guy, rolled, and then, like... That signature move, yeah. <coughs> jumped on him, shot him, flipped him over, shot him, and shot the other guy. I mean, guy. yeah, but he does but do he some... does have some really cool things. He does do some pretty crazy and stuff with the pencils, so, yeah. you know... Yes, he does. It's, it's, it's great. It's, it's, just trust and me. And I saw that with some promotional, so that kind of got spoiled for me, but not, like, a ton. Not the whole scene. But, um... He was really cool, and then you saw why he was why he got in the boogie man. Yeah. And like his new dog is awesome. Uh, you don't you don't get too much of his new dog, but don't worry, um, dog doesn't die. Don't worry. That's not what I mean by you don't get too much yeah. of him. But he's not <coughs> he's not in at a time, but he's a he's a cute dog. He's cool, and you're mm-hmm. gonna see more of him. So, yes. um, Lawrence Fishburne and Keanu Reeves are reunited briefly. From the Matrix, of course. Mark Fishburne, I feel um, he wasn't he in wasn't it, in it a ton, much, but he he was he was all right with what he was, he did he did pretty good with what he was given. You could tell he he wanted to be in the movie and he was having fun with it. And to see um, those two actors together is, is pretty cool. Yeah, it's really cool. And um, I, yeah, like I said, I like the world building. Uh, the Continental is a lot bigger than we originally thought it was. And the whole um, assassin network. Yes. There's a lot of people and, involved um, with it. Yeah, so basically so. the Continental is also a lot more powerful than I originally thought. It's kind of like the end all be all. It, it, it's like, I don't know, I don't want to spoil too much, but it's like sort of, I, I know, it's like at first you just thought maybe this place where some assassins go to hang out. It's a lot, it's actually pretty, pretty large scale. Huh? Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, obviously he ends up in Rome, so, um, that scene, new location. Uh, that scene is there, is there, cool. yeah, is there, I, yeah, I know all of you are wondering, is there anything that was on the level of the nightclub scene? I will say that the, um, the, uh, what's it called? The Catacombs, the catacombs was pretty yeah. close in this It was movie. pretty, it was pretty cool. 
Yeah. And it had a lot more variety of weapons and stuff, which I don't want to get too much into, but like, yeah. it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You get some really brutal kills. In oh, there. yeah. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. He gets to use a lot more different types of weapons in this movie. I think you only got to see him use like a... Well, the first movie you got to see him use pistols and assault rifles and like a sniper rifle. In this movie you get a little bit more. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Um, there was a, there was a, like I kind of part of me wish it was a little tighter of a pace. <coughs> of this movie it was I wish it was a little shorter. I think some things could have been trimmed out a little bit. Could have been trimmed down a little bit. So there's sometimes I'm like. Okay, it's 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 still going, but um, I was still enjoying it. But like, I just felt like it was a little over long for like an action movie. But um, I thought everyone did a good job. Keanu, he sells everything, even like some dialogue that some other people would think was kind of cheesy. He just he owns it. He sells it. He's Keanu. You love it. I think that's just something oh, yes. Keanu has that other Keanu. actors don't. <clears throat> He just has I'm that. I'm thinking on back. He just <laughs> has that Keanu factor. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the way he's just so darn likable that even if he's given some cheesy dialogue, you don't really question it. You're just like, a, yeah, because he's Keanu. so awesome. He's so awesome in every scene he's in. And because he's you believe a, yeah, that this guy's a likable the dude in real life. Yeah, and you believe that this guy's the incredible badass that like, everyone says he is. He's like, he totally is. yeah. He, at this point, he's like Tom Cruise, except not a weirdo. <laughs> in, in no offense to Tom Cruise, but like, yeah, he commits to action just like Tom Cruise. He has a, yeah, you know how Tom Cruise, like, went tumbling down that really steep, like, whatever, in Edge of Tomorrow. Um, Keanu has a similar scene in this movie. Mm. If it was Keanu, I'm pretty sure it was. But, um, but yeah, props. he really commits just like um, Tom Cruise, and he's another guy in, in, his, in his 50s that is doing this, and it's just like putting the younger actors to shame. It's like, Damn, this is how it should be done. Yeah. This is, yeah, it's just a really, really fun, bloody action ride from start to finish. Definitely go check it out if you love, if you love the first one, you're going to love if this one. If you love guns, and it's going to be great. Action, great choreography, great stunts, epic suits, um, and com I like Common. I think he was a pretty badass character. He's got that death stare that really works for me. Just yeah. <laughs> and they're like... You, you told me why. Like, I, I've heard complaints about Ruby Rose. I don't really know why. I thought she was perfectly fine. I guess she wasn't anything like super special or anything. I don't think she took away yeah. from the movie at all. She didn't really, She didn't have any dialogue, so... I mean, yeah, it's it's not because she was that unimportant. It's because like she speaks in like sign language. Yeah. She, but, like, um, she, she, did, she did good for the role she was given, I think. And, you know, it's good to have a, a female character in there. To, to empower, you know, a, a powerful... And yeah, and also these new character. assassins give us some pretty cool fight scenes. Yeah. That they uh, battle with John Especially, Wick. Especially Common. I love that scene when they fought. Yeah, like, they, the first time they fought. Yeah, they have a couple fight scenes, and they're both really cool. But the first one there is the one I really like the most. Because mm -hmm. there's a really, really fun stunt in there. Well, not fun for them, but, you know, fun for us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I just really like this movie. The highlight for me is definitely the catacombs. Yep. Um, but, yeah, that again, t it takes place, like, mm, towards the end of the first act, I'd say. It's, like, the end of the first act. But, like, just go see this movie if you love good stunt work, good choreography, good action. And you're tired of those action movies that you're shaking tired of watered-down PG-13 bullshit. But, yeah, um, it was a really good, it was a really good movie. It was great choreography, nice world-building. We get to just see everything sort of expand. Everyone's good. Everyone is pretty good in this movie. They're either good or serviceable. I haven't. I don't really think anyone's bad in this movie. Um, and uh, <coughs> yeah. a big blood got in my nose, guys. And then um, yeah, I and the, I like the guy from uh, John Leguizamo. Is his name? The guy from Kick Ass Two that was in the first challenge. Oh, yeah. in this one. He, he was good, he's not in a ton. I'm, I hope to see a little bit more of him in future movies. This movie definitely sets up for Chapter 3. Hey, Keanu says he's game for Chapter 3. Yeah, so I'm pretty Keanu's sure we game. all are. We're um, game. So, it's like, it, they have a little more room to do that in this movie, because the second movie, they kind of had to end it on, like, more of a... Um, yeah, because they didn't know what the franchise yeah, we don't know if the franchise They didn't know if people respond to it, to, and people responded yeah, to it. They, got they had to end it movie. more, like, more loose ends, like, tied up, and then this movie, it could end and be like... You know, 
Leave people, and I, I was happy Leave to see... Leave us open for Chapter 3 because, you know, people are on board with this now. And there were quite a few people out at theater. Yeah, there was, I, was, really I was happy, happy to, to see a relatively packed theater for this movie. And yeah, I was, like, I was I'm really so happy glad. to see that. And I really um, hope Fifty Shades Darker has, like, one person in there. One little four-year-old yeah, So if, if, so if nowhere no else, we know that around our area, this movie's popular. I'm pretty sure it's going to do pretty good. Because a lot of people have been kind of hyping up this movie. People that have seen the first one are like, Yeah, the first one's all good, dude. you got to see it. Yeah, this movie, and then it spread due to word of mouth, and now like everybody is like hopping on the John Wick train, like, oh yeah, John Wick is so sick, hopping mm-hmm. on the bandwagon. But oh. hey, hey, I'm just glad that there's more people that know about this and are watching yeah. it because it's definitely worth. I kind of hopped on the John yeah. Wick bandwagon. I didn't see it in theaters. I saw it on Blu-ray, and I was like, oh, yeah, oh I what I meant is, like, well, yeah, we saw yeah, it. On the first one is. Amazing. I mean, I knew it was good when it came out. We, I, I wanted to see it in theaters, but it was in and out so fast, which is really disappointing. But this movie, I'm pretty sure, is going to stay stick around because yeah. a lot of our, our theater is pretty packed, and um, there's a lot of people seeing it, and um, which is really great. And um, this, movie, this movie deserves to make money. Yeah, I meant that like there's probably deserve. a lot of people seeing this movie that haven't seen the first one, including some friends that went with us. Well, yeah, <laughs> I'm hopping on the John Wick bandwagon, like I said, but it, it doesn't matter because John Wick needs this. He this, needs this. This franchise needs this. It's, it's going to be a great yeah, franchise. If, if the if, director comes back, yeah. Keanu comes back. The way I'd like to see it, I'd like Chapter 3 to be the last one. In my opinion. Yeah. I just want it, it to be a nice be trilogy. A nice, solid nice trilogy. condensed trilogy that is solid. The John Wick trilogy. Boom, John Wick trilogy. Great. Great. And maybe we could do some sort of spin-off type movies. I don't know. It depends on how many other characters they have. But what I would love to see, even though they're probably not going to do this, but like... You know how that John Wick was in, uh, they put him in Payday 2? Yeah. I'd love to see them bring in the Payday characters. That would be, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be, that'd be sick. That would be really cool, especially since they did all those short movies with the with, uh, the Payday 2 characters. I mean, they had John Wick in there, but like he wasn't actually Keanu, or voiced by Keanu Reeves. And in his trailer, they didn't show his face. But, like, that would be cool, though. It would, it would just be cool. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody talks to Keanu about yeah, someone call Keanu up. Make it happen! Somebody that'd be pretty cool. Some, Just yeah. a little reference, maybe, even. Like, that'd be pretty cool. Pretty but yeah, no, this was a really good movie. Solid, great action, great choreography. Um, Keanu is Keanu, and he is awesome. Just, he's awesome, this Keanu. Yes. And, um, just go support this movie. Um, let's, let's make, let's, well, this is obviously probably not gonna happen, but let's try... To make Fifty Shades bomb. I hope so. But just go see this movie. It's awesome. We're. Gonna, I mean, I'm pretty sure Lego Batman's going to win the weekend, but um, I want yeah, John Wick to be number two, though. Yeah. All right. You know, Mad Max was pretty, got pretty good money. Oh, yeah. All right. So, anyways, so. go see this movie. Go support this movie. Go support um, good old Keanu Reeves and what he's doing, because he is a committed actor. And he's a real-life badass and a fictional badass. I'm getting down to earth gentleman. I'd love to meet Keanu really Reeves. Good I'd really love to meet him. Yeah, he's just a, he seems like a chill person. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to give this movie a 9 out of 10. I'm going to meet you there. 9 out of 10, same for me. And I'd give the first John Wick also, also a 9 out of 10, actually. Maybe uh-huh. like a 9.2. I don't know. But. I might have liked the first one a little bit better because it's more condensed. But still, this one's great. Go out and see it if you love the first one and you love action. And yeah. All right. That was our review of John Wick Chapter 2. We will see you probably in our review for Lego Batman next. Which will happen tomorrow. Peace out. I'm back.